Hey, I'm Dr. Infinity. Welcome to White Pill Media and welcome to the channel. Wakey, wakey, sleeping beauty. Your table's ready. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? This can't be happening. Now that we're all strapped in, I'm gonna hop right into it. A while ago, I did a review of the X-Men Evolution TV show. It's a show that I watched, like, some as a kid, and just for nostalgia's sake, I wanted to check it out. I ended up liking it uh, more than I thought I would have. And I have a few videos on that if you want to check it out. If you haven't seen Evolution, I think it's pretty decent. You know, I, I think it's pretty decent even if you didn't grow up seeing it. But I wanted to check out the 90s show because I heard it was pretty good. And I thought I would just learn a little more about the X-Men and all that. And I'm like, ah, oh, why not? You know, I also checked out that Wolverine and the X-Men show which is kind of bad, but Domino's in there, and she's very cute. So, uh, I'm going to go spoilers and everything. I'm definitely not going episode by episode. There are way too many fucking episodes, and I didn't end up really liking the series. So, throughout the video, I'm just, I'm, I'm warning you, I'm warning you. There's going to be just some good moments from Rogue throughout the show, you know, just random episodes where, like, I took a note, Rogue was cute here, or Rogue did something funny, Rogue's great etc. There's going to be a lot of that throughout this review. So just be prepared for that. And I'm just going to kind of generalize some of my thoughts as I was watching. There's like 76 episodes. So in the first episode, one, we have this guy called Morph, you know, and he ends up dying and like coming back and shit and whatever. But I thought that was kind of interesting. Just uh, I, I don't know if he's like a comic guy or not. But anyway, at uh late in the episode, Rogue Rogue has a cute little line, you know. She's she's chock full of them. She's still our girl, you know what I mean? She's still she's still our girl. You look nervous as a long tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. In the second episode, there was something that I uh, autistically picked up on, where uh, Wolverine cuts Cyclops's car to give Cyclops a convertible, and in X Men Evolution, Cyclops drives a convertible, and it's like. I don't know, that's that's kind of something there, you know, or were the writers for Evolution as autistic as me? Maybe, maybe at that. Tell Cyclops I made him a convertible. In the fourth episode, Rogue kisses Cyclops, it's canon. You know, uh, I got a whole video on Rogue and Cyclops, but this confirms it. It's canon, it's canon. Jean Grey, who is that? No clue. No fucking clue. One of the things that just kind of started off that I found like pretty annoying in the show, and I guess this is true in the comics, is like the love triangle crap going on with like Jean and Wolverine, even though it feels like pretty unrequited on Wolverine's end, like Jean, Wolverine, and Cyclops just like just annoying like unnecessary drama and stuff and it's like i don't even know if i'd want to check out the comics if there's stuff like this throughout it you know uh and just like there's some characters that get shown here where like to me it felt like a like a big threat you know like apocalypse and guys like that these are kind of like uh world ending mutants uh but like i i guess for the show they're more of just like uh villain of the week types but that was just kind of strange to see you know that was a little like uh they quite fit in that role does that make sense you know in the 10th episode uh oh my god have you seen rogue when she falls uh oh my god rogue i'd bake a calzone in that <laughs> you know there there are a few parts in here you know it's like i don't know who this channel is for exactly it's like zoomers doomers coomers Black pillars, red pillars, hopefully a few white pillars, you know. Definitely no chicks watch this. But uh, Rogue just falls. And just the way she's animated when she falls. There's another moment later on that I'm going to point out because it definitely stood out with just the animators taking, uh, enjoying Rogue, letting Rogue be Rogue on the screen. You know, it's... <laughs> It's a little excessive, I think, for a children's show, but I'm not complaining, you know. Dr. Infinity, he's not complaining, right? Oh, 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 oh. So there's, like, the love triangle crap and that kind of drama, and there's just, like, a lot of time travel shit and, like, different realities and crap with, like, Cable and Bishop. 
And it makes me not like super interested in checking the comics out because, oh my God, there's a lot of time travel shit in the show. You know, just like uh, I didn't count every episode, but it happened a lot. You know, it's probably over like 10 episodes or so, maybe around 12, uh, I don't know, 15, but just a lot of like time travel and like alternate reality stuff. And it's like, oh my God, I don't care. I really, really don't care. Oh, in the 13th episode, we got uh, Xavier as like a, a suicide bomber <laughs> or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, we got that. We got the uh, Ace of Spades with the um, the big guys. The big robot guys, they're the Sentinels, the Sentinels, right? What is that object? It appears to be the Ace of Spades. Hopefully I have something more clever than Xavier just flying into the Twin Towers. Because th it's a little overdone, you know, in 9-11. It was, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Hopefully nothing that crass. We can do a little better on this channel. Right. You are the living embodiment of all that is evil and unjust in humankind. You must be destroyed. 14th episode. Morph is back as this like uh, evil dude because of Sinister and Sinister looks fucking weird in the show. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it just there's a slow pan of Rogue when she's lying on the couch. And it's like, holy shit, you know. Not complaining, you know. I feel like somewhat of a hypocrite with this, uh, with like the Coomer bait, but I don't know. It's there, right? It's there. I'm going to point it out. There it is. The 16th episode, they're fighting like the uh, the Shadow King dude. That's like uh, he wants like Storm back because he's like a demon ghost thing. And I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to shit on our girl. I'm really not. But Rogue throws a fucking rock at a fucking ghost. Throws a fucking rock at him. And I'm not saying she's a moron, but holy shit. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Uh, oh, oh, and another thing with this show. Like, it just, like, jerks off Wolverine. You know, it just fucking jerks off Wolverine where it's just like, my past. You know, it's just like, my past. Over and over and over again, like uh, his memories and blah, blah, blah. I was in World War II. By the way, I was also a samurai. By the way, I was on this covert special ops team. By the way, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but here's fucking Alpha Flight. And I thought that was a joke, <laughs> you know? But apparently they're like a real team. But it just looked like a bunch of fucking retards in suits, man. Like, holy shit. You got hockey puck guy, a chick that turns into a fucking owl. Great power there. Uh, and it's just weird and bad. Oh, and then like the Phoenix Saga stuff starts to happen. And throughout this, it's like, uh, Gene is like, oh, I have a headache. Oh, oh my God. I'm so weak. Ah, I pass out. Uh, I'm going to show a little meme of it where it's like Palpatine from the third Star Wars movie. But holy shit. It's like, oh, I'm too weak. I can't. Scott, Scott, I can't. And then wha-bam, Phoenix mode. Whatever. We got a uh, crazy gene in episode 37. Uh, you'd leave me to be with another woman. It's like, honestly, if Rogue was there, you know, it's like, probably gene. I know you're a redhead and all that, but it's Rogue. It's fucking Rogue, for Christ's sakes. Holy shit. Go back to that club tonight. You would leave me to be with another woman? Go then. Gene, there's nothing to be jealous of. And, like, this Phoenix Saga stuff, it's kind of interesting, like, the Shi'ar Empire and all that stuff. I might check out the Phoenix Saga in the comics. Some friends recommended it, too, so I probably will at some point. But, like, Jean's back, even though she's, like, dead, and I, I don't know exactly what happens in the comics. They make a point of pointing out that Jean did not blow up. She blew up a uninhabited planet, and I think in the comics she, like, killed, like, a billion people or something, Something, like, pretty insane. Uh, so that definitely got changed a little bit. But, like, Jean's dead, and then she's, like, not dead. And then she, like, comes back. The show's kind of weird with that later on. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have the Rogue and Cyclops Christmas episode. They're standing next to each other. And I'm not saying that that's canon necessarily. But just compare it to Evolution, the Christmas episode, with Cyclops and Rogue. Kino episode, by the way. 
And you'll see that what the writers were trying to do, but, you know, it's those fucking producers that were forcing the Gene and Cyclops and the Rogue and Gambit thing. They were forcing it. The audience, the audience, they knew, you know, the writers did what they could for us. They knew what we really wanted. Oh, oh, and like this fucking like nasty little mutant thing, the Morlock one, I'd kill all those people. They're, they're fucking ugly. But like, uh, they're like, oh my God, we need Beast to save this guy. Oh my God, we need Beast. Beast gets there. He acts like he did anything. The kid recovers on his own. Beast didn't do jack shit, you know? Uh, so whatever, fuck him. Oh, uh, and then there's like the, oh, and then it's just like, yeah, uh, there's not like, I don't want to cover like every episode because a lot of them are like really fucking dull and just uninteresting or it's like, I can just sum it up as time travel shit. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, we have the long shot episode in the fifth season. It's that samurai chick. I don't know what her name is. I think the woman that voices like Azula voiced her in the Wolverine and the X-Men show where she showed up as well, but she's calling for people to be canceled. I'm sure I can edit that into something. Someone calling for ca someone to be canceled, right? But uh, Jubilee and Longshot in this episode. Jubilee, th that's some jailbait there, Longshot. Like, look out. Your powers would not save you here, my man. Cancel them. Cancel them all. I hate it when Wolverine treats me like a kid. I'm 15, uh, 17 years old. I can look after myself. And then just overall in the fifth season, like the animation quality like dips like significantly, like significantly, significantly, you know, um, which is whatever. Like I get that the show's like winding down and everything. I don't know. I, I guess it was getting canceled. Yeah, I have to assume it was getting canceled. And they, like, change up the intro a little bit, and it seems like they got different, like, voice actors for, like, Gambit and Rogue, for sure. And I don't know exactly what was going on. The Jubilee, like, fairy tale episode, like, episode 70. Oh, my God, that suck. Just, like, story-wise, animation, all of it. It was so fucking bad. But the worst, the worst crime is that in this episode where it has, like, X-Men uh done up as like fantasy characters um rogue does not make an appearance rogue is not in a cute medieval outfit that is the biggest the biggest flaw with that episode um but yeah we just got some weird shit uh where it's like i don't know it's like uh like storms like there's this dude archon and he's, he's got like slaves and shit and it's just like I don't know, and like Friends of Humanity, and uh, what was it? Oh, Apocalypse comes back, and it's like, oh my god, <laughs> I don't care, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like Apocalypse doesn't come off as like a big threat. Where to me, like in Evolution, it's like you sort of the the end of the series, right? Uh, but with here, it's just like Apocalypse is here like every other week, you know. So I don't really care. I'm not like really invested in him and wolverine has like his world war ii flashback episode because the guy has like 50 flashbacks we have like victorian england evolution shit and it's just fucking weird you know it's just fucking weird um what i put for episode 74 i put mining town rogue finally shows up again sounds like a new actress mining town what does that mean? Okay, it's like, uh, oh, okay, okay. It's like, oh, his name's Cannonball. Oh, he was in Evolution. Okay, I didn't recognize him in it. Um, but yeah, yeah, this guy's like gotta join the X-Men and like there's a shadow army trying to uh, kidnap him or I don't care. Uh, and the final episode's just like a clash between like humans and mutants and shit. Morph's back, morph's back. Uh, and then like Professor X is like, dying and then like he he might have died he might have night he, he might he might have not and the weird shiar lady takes him away it's fucking bizarre it, it's just really fucking weird right but uh you know like uh there were some okay episodes here and there there's some cute rogue moments but overall i really did not care for the show and i definitely wouldn't rewatch it again and i have like no nostalgia for it even if like, if I was, like, born and, like, was watching this as it came out as a kid, I don't think I would have enjoyed it that much. Uh, I think Evolution's a higher quality show, in my opinion. You know, uh, not just for the memes where it's uh, Cyclops and Rogue, but 
Just, I don't know, I kind of liked it more. Uh, I felt like, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe I cared about the characters a little more in Evolution. Uh, and just like, yeah, there, there wasn't really a bunch of like time travel crap in that type of thing. It, it felt like a lot more grounded, I guess I would describe it that way. But, ah, uh, that's probably going to be it. You know, that's probably going to be it for this review. Uh, was it worth it? No, it definitely wasn't. But uh, I have some, if you want some more X-Men content, uh, I have some X-Men Evolution videos I have out. You know, I have a few of them. And I do kind of just some general other reviews on this channel. You know, usually like movies, TV shows. I'm probably going to start doing comic books a little bit more. I plan on reviewing, uh, yeah, some next week. And, you know, this channel is kind of uh, eclectic. You know, it's kind of this and that. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching. Dr. Infinity out.